This question is quite interesting because they're asking us to take a sequence and then write it in sigma notation. Now remember, sigma notation is that funny symbol that looks like this. And so the way that this works is that over here, we are going to put whatever Tn is. So we need to come up with a general formula for Tn. To do that, we have to know if this is an arithmetic or a geometric sequence. Now we can see that they are plusing 4 each time. And so what that implies is that this is arithmetic. So we go to our formula sheet, or if you know the formula for arithmetic, it's the following. And so now we literally fill in everything. We don't know what term we are looking for. We're just looking for the general term Tn. So we just say Tn is equal to... Now, a is obviously always going to be term 1, so that's 3 plus n minus 1, and the common difference is 4. Now, we can multiply the 4 into the bracket, and so that's going to give us plus 4n minus 4. We then simplify by putting the 3 and the minus 4 together, so that's going to give us 4n minus 1. And we take that, and we put it inside the sigma notation. And so inside the sigma notation, I'm just going to say 4 n minus 1. But now when we do sigma notation, things are a little bit weird. We typically put an n at the top, and we don't want these two letters to be the same. So this is why you will often replace this with a different letter, and a common letter that people use is k. And then at the bottom here, we'll always just say k is equal to 1. When we are asked to write something in sigma notation, just always use a 1 at the bottom. And that's it, guys. That is how you write a sequence in sigma notation.